Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, now this is going to be one of my little quarterly updates on uh, the EV tariffs that are out there. So if you're charging your car at home, um, this is a, a good uh, look over some of the tariffs that are available. Uh, excuse me as I keep looking over to my laptop which is just out of shot here um, because uh, there's too many numbers on this for me to memorise. Anyway, let's kick off with the uh, the standard tariff. So these are ones you need a smart meter for and they are going to give you a period of off peak uh, at a cheaper price and then uh, that, that uh, period will be fixed and then you've got a daytime period as well um, which also covers most of the evening and that is at a slightly different rate. Um, now the big change there is that uh, electricity prices overall have come down. Uh, the off-gen price cap is down for July, August and September to about 22.5p uh, per kilowatt hour for your electricity. But because these aren't standard variable tariffs, these are EV tariffs, that price cap doesn't always apply. So, um, so just looking through on the list here, um, the one with the lowest price of daytime electricity is a new one, and that is from uh, EDF, and EDF called out their EV Evolve tariff. Now this is a new one to the market, and it guarantees your daytime price will be no more than that uh, normal price cap at 22.5p. And they'll give you five hours of charging overnight, uh, but their overnight charging price is 12.5 pence. Now if you do very little charging, um, that could be pretty good um, because you're going to be low on that daytime rate. And again, if your house is busy during the day, if you're working from home, uh, there are advantages to that. Um, however, many of the others have um, cheaper prices for their charging. So uh, just going through the list here, um, Octopus Go, I reckon that's amongst the best ones. That gives you 23.7p by day and 8.5p per night. And Octopus Go has now gone from four hours overnight up to five. Other ones with five hours of British gas, um, they're a little bit cheaper on the charging at 7.9p, but their daytime rate is 27p. And then there is another EDF tariff called EDF EV Overnight. Um, they're quite good during the day at 25.7, but 9p at night. Um, now obviously Octopus is going to be a little bit cheaper than that on both of those, so that wasn't, doesn't work out so well. And the worst one that I could find was Scottish Power because they wouldn't even give me an online quote or uh, let me bring up their tariffs. So uh, the worst one that would quote me was Ecotricity at 30.8p by day and 8p by night. Uh, so, you know, they are coming in quite expensive. It's going to be really hard to beat amongst all of those Octopus Go at 23.7p by day and 8.5p per night. British Gas is more expensive by day but very slightly cheaper on the charging. You're going to have to do a lot of charging, a lot of overnight energy and very little by day to make that work better overall. Um, Ecotricity won't even come close. The EDF EV Evolve, as I said, that's pretty good because of the daytime rate, um, but I don't think you're going to win any prizes with that one um, with your overnight use. Especially if, like me, you can shift some household use into that overnight period. Things like the dishwasher, the washing machine, we've got background usage of the fridge freezer, Wi-Fi, um, TV sound, standby, that kind of thing. So we do move some electricity use into that cheaper period too, which saves money. Uh, there is one tariff that gives you longer charging overnight, gives you seven hours at their, uh, their cheap rate. And that one is from Eon, which is their Eon fixed uh, version three. Uh, their day rate is very high at 29.86. Uh, their night rate though is good at 6.9p, it's amongst the cheapest, um, and they give you seven hours at night. Now again, the daytime use is probably gonna more than offset that extra couple of hours at, at night. But that is fixed, and uh, the, uh, the people around Ofgem and Cornwall Insight, who are consultancy on energy prices, uh, they tell me that energy prices are likely to go up uh, in the autumn and the winter. So fixing might be something that you want to consider. Now I've run through a little spreadsheet with all of those uh, tariffs on it, and the one that comes out the cheapest using varying amounts of daytime and nighttime uh, mix. It's not really about the total um, amount of electricity you use when I do these comparisons, it's the proportion of the uh, peak rate versus off peak rate that you use. And uh, of them, Octopus Go 
is now coming in as a fairly clear winner um, with all of those tariffs. Uh, so that one's uh, really hard to beat now. So it's a good daytime rate. You're only paying a penny more than the uh, normal variable price cap. You're getting your nighttime charging eight and a half pence a kilowatt hour for five hours. And uh, in a five hour period with a seven kilowatt home charger, um, that would give you about 35 kilowatt hours. And uh, that should be enough for 100 miles in a lot of modern EVs, maybe even more. So, you know, that should prove ample for charging your car up. And again, if you can shift your dishwasher or your washing machine with the time delay, run that overnight, uh, maybe even your immersion heater overnight, uh, that will uh, save you some money as well and more than offset that slightly higher daytime price than the standard uh, costs. All of these usually work out cheaper than the standard variable rate once you're on an electric car for that overnight cheap period. Okay, two other really innovative tariffs. These use um, an internet connection to uh, draw data from either your charger or your car back to the energy company. Uh, so that means you have to have either a compatible car or a compatible charger. Uh, these two are OVO Charge Anytime and uh, there is Octopus Intelligent Go, which is just a little upgrade on the standard Octopus Go. Uh, OVO Charge Anytime is uh, slightly different. All of your household use gets charged at whatever OVO tariff you're on, and that might be the standard variable tariff of 22.5p per kilowatt hour. All of the energy that goes into your car, and that is measured by your charger or your car itself, they only charge you seven pence per kilowatt hour for that. Uh, they work it all out, they put a rebate on your bill, and apparently it's pretty good, according to a friend of mine who went on the tariff following my recommendation. Um, on top of that, because you are car charging generally overnight, you shift some energy use away from the evening peak, and that also triggers a little rebate sometimes with OVO, uh, which could be another benefit. So you do need a compatible car or a compatible charger, and all the information is on their website. It is a very good tariff, and if you're unable to shift some of your energy use into the overnight period, it could be the best one for you. Um, and again, if you need to charge up during the day, maybe you've got a plug-in hybrid that's only got a small battery, charges in uh, two to four hours, um, but you need to top it up during the day because uh, one day of driving isn't going to be covered by the plug-in battery. That's certainly what I found when I borrowed the Q3 as a courtesy car, as a plug-in hybrid, that um, the 30 mile range wasn't quite enough for a whole day's driving I needed to top up. So that's when something like overcharge anytime could have been good for me. Uh, again, excellent tariff. Um, their pricing, if you're on the standard variable, 22.5p uh, per kilowatt hour uh, for the house and 7p per kilowatt hour for the car. Now, if you desperately need to charge your car up um, and you need to charge it now and it's going to be in peak hours, you will end up having to uh, force a charge and that means you could end up paying the uh, normal full price for your car charging. But if you can let it smart charge, let them decide when your car is going to charge, um, you will normally get that cheap rate. And uh, finally, Octopus Intelligent Go. Uh, now this one is uh, a bit like the other time of use tariffs. You've got a daytime rate. It's only slightly above the normal standard variable. It's 23.7. So it's a much smaller margin over the, uh, the daytime rate now on their latest pricing. And their nighttime rate for a six hour period, so longer than most of the time of use uh, tariffs, that is uh, only seven pence. Again, that's come down from seven and a half p to seven p. But it's that daytime cut that I think makes the biggest difference. Um, however, it's not just a fixed six hours, and this is where it wins. Um, apart from being able to shift my uh, dishwasher, my washing machine, um, all that kind of background household use into that six hour period, um, it does also mean that uh, if I need to charge my big battery up and my battery can sometimes charge for 10 or 11 hours if I've, uh, if I've come home in a very low battery state and I need to do a big charge on it. I can uh, just set the ready by time, tell the app how much charge I need and it will get on with it for me and it will trigger additional hours. So I've got a couple of examples on my bill here. Um, now here is, uh, here is one and the electricity price is uh, on a line there. So you can see there's my daytime use with my pricing and here is my nighttime use with the pricing down low but you can see that I've used a lot of electricity overnight and uh, that's down at the cheaper price 
because I've done all of my charging, a fairly small charge, during that cheap period. Now here's another bill, and hopefully you can see this one. You can see that uh, outside of that standard six hours, there are some additional cheap periods that uh, Octopus designated. I, all I said was charge the car up by about half ten in the morning, and uh, they pick some times after 6.30 in the morning uh, until about half ten, and um, pick some 30 minute or hour slots, and the car turns itself on and off and charges up during those periods. So that meant not only did I get cheap use uh, for the car, but any household use during those uh, periods was also heavily discounted. Uh, the other morning I, uh, I got up, I uh, went to bring the milk in, make a cup of tea, realised I hadn't plugged my car in overnight, I'd forgotten to, and I needed uh, to do a bit of charging. So at seven in the morning, I went and plugged the car in and told Octopus I needed the car ready by 11 a.m. And that meant that I triggered four hours of cheap charging as the car charged up through the morning. And that meant that when we did things like um, pop the washing machine on, having been out for a run and got a load of stinky gym kit and stuff, um, that was all done at the cheap rate. So, you know, there can be some great benefits to it. Um, it is hard to say which is going to be the cheapest. It really depends on your usage patterns. For, for, but for most people, um, Intelligent Octopus Go is going to be the cheapest one around. Um, I said Ovo Charge Anytime is excellent and that might suit some people better. And then if you're uh, on normal time of use tariffs, it's very hard to come up with a cheaper overall deal than Octopus Go. Uh, you, know, you can get ones with longer uh, periods. Let me just double check which ones they were. Um, EDF um, is all at five hours. The, the Eon Next uh, fixed tariff gives you seven hours, but their daytime rate is so expensive that's unlikely to work out the best one for you. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Um, I will do these updates quarterly. If anyone comes up with any new tariffs or anything innovative, I normally pop a little uh, comment up in a short video just to update things. So please hit the like and subscribe. I'm trying to get up to 500 subscribers. It'd be awesome to uh, get up there. Uh, it's just a little ego trip and it uh, certainly helps me out with my YouTube uh, coverage. And uh, also stay tuned to the channel. because, as you know, I've got an Audi e-tron 55. Uh, the lease runs out in a couple of months and I have been car shopping so I can tell you all about what I've been looking at, what I've been considering, what I think are the great electric cars out there for sale right now and then I might even let you know what I've ordered before it gets delivered. Thanks for tuning in, see you again soon.